Nissan's Canton, Mississippi plant to shift to building light commercial vehicles for fleet use. So what happens next for the automaker, which is already offering buyouts to longtime employees at the Tennessee assembly plant? In 2010, we'll come out with our first electric vehicle. 2012, we plan to mass market that. But electric cars need big batteries or someplace to get recharged after 100 miles. As a demonstration project, the company has signed a deal with the state of Tennessee to create an electric vehicle corridor between Knoxville and Nashville. Where they are going to actually be installing charging stations throughout the state, the state of Tennessee so that we have the opportunity to, to um, get our EVs charged. Here in the capital of Nashville, mm -hmm. you know, we've got the governor, we've got the mayor of Nashville. We're going to have charging stations at the capital. We're going to have charging stations along the highways. At the same time, Nissan hopes to grow its market for traditional vehicles by expanding the luxury side infinity to Europe and other places. Combine that with a growing demand for Nissan badged cars, and it may be the right time to take advantage of the current status of the dollar. But when we look at global industrial footprint, you know, some of these vehicles now are such high volume in global products, it can make sense, you know, based on dollar to yen or dollar to euro, to build a vehicle in the North American market and ship it to Europe or ship it back to Japan. And I think you're going to start seeing more vehicles going back and forth. So the goal for Nissan, like every other automaker, will be to carefully balance its capacity to build and deliver cars in the North American market against the buying public's demands now and in the near future. This is Greg Morrison.